Angelica. I'm a travel blogger with AfriPass Travel. Basically what I do is visit places like unique travel destinations and then write articles about them. I chose to do travel blogging because I always had a passion for traveling and I also always had a passion for writing. Like it just came naturally. And I really enjoyed it and I found that I actually really do like it. Like I, uh, it was something that I was so passionate about. And then um, when I went to university, well, my parents decided that I should go to Kenya because they liked um, a specific school that had an American system of education. This is a system that gives you an opportunity to be as creative as you want because they don't take up like that. You don't have like a whole day of classes. You usually have like two classes a day. And the rest of the time, you have to decide what you want to do. So yeah, slowly by slowly, I started discovering that I liked leadership. And um, and then um, once I was a leader in, uh, at university, I was like a student leader. So I was the head of the School of Business, Chandaria School of Business. Once I once I got that like on my belt, once I knew that I could do the leadership thing, I started applying for different opportunities. And that's how I came to go and study abroad in Paris. But lecture actually sits there and tells you, you have to create a YouTube channel. I want you to talk to the camera. And then I found out, okay, maybe that's a bit awkward. So I was like, no, I want to actually communicate to my readers by writing to them. It's, it's not a desk job, so you don't have a salary coming in at the end of the month. But that's the thing about being self-employed. You don't have a salary coming in every month until you actually fully fledged, like you are standing and you have like a, like other employees, for example, and they you and all that. There are so many avenues for you to make money, but you just have to choose the one that's best for you. For example, you can use Google AdSense. Well, Google places ads on your website and you know, you make money like pennies per click, yeah? You can also approach companies and tell them that, you know what, I'm doing this, I have a platform with these many followers and you can place an advert on my website and then you get commission off of that. Because this is something that's really relatively new in Uganda. In fact, I say, I say that I'm a travel blogger and so like, huh? If I sit down and write down exactly what I'm thinking. I can communicate it better to you. Like I can pull you in and show you exactly what I'm seeing through my writing. Our education system honestly doesn't give you that chance to be very creative artistically. It's more on like education, like you have to read books and study really hard and get good grades, that's it. When I think of climate change, I think of Kampala and how hot it is, how un uncomfortably hot it is. Because honestly, there are very few places that are as hot as Kampala is at the moment. And that's because people are cutting down trees. Industrialization is really high. So you have like so many things going on in, in the world that are disrupting, you know, the natural ways, the norm, yes. The government and us have to do something. Like we have to tell people about the dangers of climate change. There are countries that have actually taken this up and they've made sure that, for example, if you cut a tree, you have to plant two. You're supposed to have trees and, you know, yeah, because they bring, they're basically life. I think it's up to anybody with a platform. If you have an audience, then it's actually your responsibility to tell them, to educate them about the things going on around you.